It's been over 15 months after riots in Delhi shook the national capital. The Delhi police has come under fire by the High Court as well as a Sessions Court. The High Court today granted bail to five accused in the murder of a constable. The High Court said an accused cannot be kept in jail for just organizing a protest or staying in touch with protesters. A Delhi court order on Thursday, it was a Sessions Court order on Thursday, was even way more scathing. It discharged three accused, one of them, the brother of prime accused Tahir Hussain, blasting the Delhi police for what the court deemed was an extremely shoddy investigation. The court said the police failure would torment the sentinels of democracy. Our report. A communal riot in the national capital, Delhi, the worst bout of violence since 1984, anti-Sikh riots. The horrors of riots in the early 2020 are still etched in everyone's mind. Over 50 lives were lost and more than 500 injured. The investigation that followed resulted in 750 cases. More than one year and a half later, Delhi police's investigation is being ripped apart in the courts of Delhi. A Delhi court on Thursday discharged three accused, including Ahmadmi Party MLA Tahir Hussain's brother, Shah Alam. Delivering the verdict, additional Sessions judge Vinod Yadav came down heavily on the Delhi police. When history will look back at the worst communal riots since partition in Delhi, it is the failure of investigating agency to conduct proper investigation by using latest scientific method that will surely torment the sentinels of democracy, the judge said. The judge also said the investigation agency tried to pull the wool over the court's eyes. The court lambasted the police for not making any real effort to trace out eyewitnesses, the real accused persons and technical evidence. The court added that its time was being wasted in just giving dates in many of these cases. The Delhi police suffered more setback on Friday. The High Court granted bail to five of 122 accused in a case related to the death of Constable Pratan Lal. The court said merely organizing or being touched with protesters is not sufficient to say the accused was involved in planning the incident. The Delhi police has been facing criticism over this investigation. On 28 August, a Delhi court hauled up the police for not completing the probe, leaving accused languishing in prison for over one and a half years. Judge Yadav acquitted a man accused of rioting on 20th July. In the first verdict related to Northeast Delhi riots, it said the investigation was way short of what was needed. On July 13th, the judge slapped a 25,000 rupees fine on the police for not filing an FIR in the riot case. On March 25, additional sessions judge Vinod Yadav expressed dissatisfaction with the police for not maintaining investigation files in connection with the desecration of the Madina Mosque. Two days earlier, the judge had granted bail to an accused, the court doubting the credibility of the police witnesses. In fact, Sessions Judge Vinod Yadav, in his orders passed on Thursday, has said that history will remember the colossal failure of the investigation agency to conduct a scientific investigation. The question therefore remains, exactly what has the police done in the one and a half years since the riots which shook the country? In New Delhi, this is Anisha Mathur, Sandhya Today. All right, viewers, before we go to our panellists, I want to quickly raise the big questions this evening. Question that we are asking to our panellists this evening, is the police under political pressure? Are police, the cops of Delhi, not serious about the riots probe? Because it's not just the Sessions Court yesterday or the Delhi High Court today. Multiple courts over the last six months have come out with scathing observations. Ultimately, the question that is the biggest here, will the riot victims ever get justice. I want to quickly cut across to our panelists, Yasha Vardhan Azad, the former IPS officer, Kavita Krishnan, CPI ML Politburo member, Abhishek Dutt joins me from the Congress party and RP Singh, BJP spokesperson and Shankar Lal Gautam uh, is also joining us. He is 
one of the victims of the riot that had taken place. Shankar Dalji, I want to start with you. Now, the court is saying that the police didn't do an investigation from the Delhi police. Do you think you will get justice? Madam, if the investigation is right, तो जस्टिस तो मिलता है ऐसी बात नहीं है पर पुलिस ने जो शुरुआती जांच की है वो सही प्रकार से नहीं हुई हमारी गली नंबर तेरह में 25 फरवरी को दो बजे के आसपास 200-300 लोगों ने हमला किया जिसमें तीन लड़कों के गोली लगी और उसमें से जो व्यक्ति में जो गोली मारने वाले हैं वो आज भी रोडों पे घूम रहे हैं और जो जिनके गोलियां लगी जो अपनी गलियों में थे अपने घरों के पास थे अपनी सेफ्टी के लिए पहरा दे रहे थे रात में उस, उनको जेलों में डाल दिया गया शंकर लाल जी आपको विश्वास है दिल्ली पुलिस की जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन हुई है उस पर जब ये इन्वेस्टिगेशन जारी थी क्या आप लोग भी उसका हिस्सा बने थे जी इन्वेस्टिगेशन जो जारी थी हम भी उसमें हिस्सा है पर लेकिन वो प्रॉपर तरीके से इन्वेस्टिगेशन हुई नहीं है सही आपको क्यों लगता है की इन्वेस्टिगेशन प्रॉपर तरीके से नहीं हुई है क्योंकि जो जो दंगा करने वाले लोग थे वो आज भी बाहर है जो, जो जिन लोगों को 200-300 आदमियों को गली के अंदर भेजा गया जिन लोगों ने भेजा वो आज भी वहीं घूम रहे हैं तीन तीन लोगों ने फायरिंग करी पिस्टल से और सरेआम वो पिस्टलें आई समझे मस्जिद के पास से वो उन्होंने फायरिंग करनी शुरू हुई और मंदिर तक वो फायरिंग करते रहे शंकर लाल जी आप सबसे पहले ये बता दें आप कहाँ पर रह रहे थे एग्जैक्टली लोकेशन बताए अपनी जी हमारा अमा, मेरा क्षेत्र है ब्रह्मपुरी गली नंबर तेरह नॉर्थ ईस्ट लगता है हमारा मैडम और आप कह रहे हैं कि उस वक्त जिन्होंने आपको आपने जिनको देखा उन पे एक्शन नहीं लिया गया है जी बिल्कुल मैडम शंकर लाल जी एक आखिरी सवाल पूछना चाहूंगी आपसे अब जब कोर्ट बार बार बोल रहा है कि ये इन्वेस्टिगेशन ठीक नहीं हुई है तो क्या कोर्ट पे विश्वास है या उनसे भी विश्वास उठ गया है नहीं कोर्ट पे तो विश्वास नहीं अगर कोर्ट पे विश्वास उठ जाएगा तो पब्लिक कहां जाएगी कोर्ट पे तो विश्वास है हमारे को आपको क्यों लगता है कि जांच ठीक से नहीं हुई है शंकर लाल जी प्रॉपर तरीके से इसलिए जांच नहीं लग रही है कि ये जो आदमी फायरिंग कर रहे हैं अरे हम दिख रहे हैं ये आप क्या दिखा रहे हैं आप क्या दिखा रहे हैं ये मैं वही दिखा रहा हूँ मैडम जो उस दिन का हादसा है ये आपने कहा से मिला जो उस दिन ये सीसीटीवी फुटेज में से लिया मैडम जी आप कह रहे हैं आपने आप जब पुलिस से आपकी बात हुई थी उसके दौरान क्योंकि आप एक आई विटनेस रहे थे आपने क्या सारे नाम गिरा दिए थे पुलिस को कि ये थे ये थे ये थे उस, उसमें मैडम हमने लोगों को आइडेंटिफाई करके एक लेटर भी दिया था और बाकायदा नाम सही हमने दिए थे इस तरीके ये लेटर दिया हमने नाम भी दिए उन लोगों को आपने लेटर कहाँ दिया था ये एस एच और अपना डीसीपी साहब को दिए इसमें हमने नाम वगैरह सब कुछ दिए लोग लेकिन ये कितने लोगों ने साइन किया है उस गली में कितने लोगों ने ये लेटर दिया था उस गली में जिसमें आप रह रहे थे ये तो लेटर हमने हमने ही दिया था सिर्फ सिर्फ आपने दिया आइडेंटिफाई जी जी और आप कह रहे हैं कि सीसीटीवी भी इमेज भी हैं जो कोलैबोरेट करती हैं इसे जी बिल्कुल बहुत शुक्रिया पंडित शंकर लाल जी हमसे जुड़ने का बहुत शुक्रिया I want to now cut across to our other guest. I want to cut across to R P Singh, B J P spokesperson. Mr. Singh, you know, I want to quote a few lines from the courts which have happened over the last five months. And this is not just, sir, the Delhi High Court today or the Sessions Court yesterday. Multiple observations by multiple, uh, you know, judges have come out with. Let me take you through some, sir. The police fail to use latest scientific methods. The police failure will torment sentinels of Indian democracy. The police made no effort to investigate the case. The police merely filing charge sheets without any real evidence. No efforts to trace witnesses real accused. Courts cannot permit cases to meander mindlessly. Criminal wastage of time and money of the taxpayer. Many languishing in jail as trial hasn't started. Police tried to pull the wool over the court's eyes. Sir, not one judge, multiple courts, multiple observations on only one. Agency, the Delhi Police, and how it conducted the Delhi riots probe. Preeti, thank you uh, for calling me over the debate. Uh, I hundred percent go with what court is saying. That let's understand who killed Ratanlal, who killed uh, Ivy Officer Sharma, 
have made scathing observations on the delhi police then sir I, I, the I, I, mha I has already so. sir then i just want to ask a you know a question then why has the mha given the excellence award to the delhi police for the delhi riot case pro i i i'll let me again say what court is saying i'm with court on the scathing thing and then i'm hopeful court should have or uh, said Or, or what should have told that let's form an SIT or uh, give it the inquiry to the uh, system because as it is, uh, they probe because these are out of seven fifty cases, only four cases. There are still many cases. I don't know what to what to say to other cases. But if I have to pick, go by the uh, four cases and then if to take this into other seven fifty cases, then it's a sad story. But okay. I'm hopeful that in other cases they would have done well. They, they, they can produce scientific evidence on all those who are involved. And then, uh, the court, the so till now, uh, till now, court. you know, with whatever we've gone through, at least I have only seen scathing remarks coming in from multiple courts. But uh, you know, do stay on with me. I want to bring in Yashwardhan Azad. He's a former IPS officer. Mr. Azad, you know, it's not one observation. It's not one random court who's come out and said it. We've had multiple observations, you know, over the last few months, which have only but slammed the Delhi police for the probe that it conducted. Yes, uh, I understand that that's a very unfortunate situation. But you know, the main focus of your debate was whether there is any political pressure uh, on the police, and is that the reason why the investigation has become shoddy or is not up to the mark uh, because of which the uh, courts are commenting? Uh, let me say that in certain cases, definitely there has been a shoddy investigation, and I'm I'm not defending uh, Delhi police on such cases. But let me also point out uh, that uh, you know, Priti, it's very, very difficult uh, to investigate the riots cases. It is true that many people say that there, you know, there are hundreds of people who are attacking uh, a particular human being or a particular shop, but there is not a single evidence which comes to fore, and there is no one who wants to come to the police station in a riot case to give witness or even the court for that matter. Take the example of the of, of, of the Ratan Lal. Uh, who was attacked and who was killed? Now, all the forensic evidence, which which uh, uh, you can appreciate that the Delhi police will definitely do an excellent investigation in their own cases where their own officers mm -hmm. have been killed. Whether is the dump data, whether is the CDR, whether is the drone uh, uh, images, or whether is the CCTV. Mind you, there was also a CCTV evidence from one of the CCTVs. That the entire lot of CCTVs in the street were disabled by the rioters, and also batons were being provided by the ladies for the entire conspiracy to take shape to attack the police officers. But you know, sometimes the best investigation is also not good enough, and maybe because of that, the High Court has given way. So I would say that overall, if you take the investigation, there have been 750 FIRs in 12 cases, perhaps. Uh, the courts have given uh, their 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 views. Um, let's hope and let's see that the other cases turn out well. 
I'm sure that uh, we will see a better investigation in the future. Kavita Krishnan, you know, that there's a point that Mr. Azad is making that the anatomy of a riot is so opaque that it's very difficult to investigate because here it's nobody else, but it's their own officer that they can't pin the blame on on who killed him. Um, Preeti, there's some, uh, uh, I can hear you and I'm going to reply, but there's a lot of static. So I'm just telling you that there's a, a continuous, very loud sound. We're going to try sound. and rectify that. Go ahead. Yes, so Ms. just Ms. try and rectify that. Um, I want to say, I want to just make a few quick observations about uh, what the, co the court has not said that, look, um, there are difficulties and you have not been able to uh, do these difficult things. The court has pulled up the investigation for not being able to do the simplest and most obvious things. For instance, they have said that the main witness is some police witness. Uh, and they have said that he has obviously leapfrogged the due process and he has not done the arrests in a proper procedural way at all. So it clearly appears that he is trying to frame somebody. So that is what the police has said, that look, your own police witness, it, and that is not my words, this is the court's words. So I think that this is not just about, you know, difficulty in finding eyewitnesses who are willing to speak. This is a problem with the actual eyewitness who actually belongs to the police. And my point is that, of course, somebody from the police has been killed, but that does not mean that the police is sincere about finding out who is responsible. I also want to point out that the person who just spoke on your show, Shankar Lal Gautam, he is somebody who, in another uh, media channel's investigation, has admitted on record that uh, there are videos in which his men, our boys, he says, are firing guns. But he claims those are not guns, those are water pistols. Okay. So now he is free. He is able to, a man who is a strong man there locally in Brahmapuri, who himself says, those are my guys on uh, video who are firing things. And he says, those are water pistols. And please believe me. He is not under arrest. He is roaming free and he is coming on your channel and he is saying, I'm a riot victim. Okay. That's that's uh, number one. The other thing is that uh, the point which is being made by multiple courts is, and including by this latest one, is that while people who are on record have said that we have, you know, for instance, let me tell you this woman called Ragini Tiwari, why not arrest and investigate those who are boasting that we have participated in riots, we have led okay. riots. There is this Ragini Tiwari, she is not under arrest. There is Kapil Mishra, who said Goli Maro, Uske baad logo ne Goli Mara. I did not not, yeah, not I'll come, in fact, I'll come a, court, to a court had ordered at that time, if you remember, a judge, uh, Justice Muralidhar, had ordered that uh, Kapil Mishra should be arrested okay. to prevent further rioting. Yeah. But he was not arrested. He was not booked. And uh, nothing has moved yeah, in that matter. Instead, yeah, people against right. whom there I'll is no... Let me say. finish, please. Let people let, let, let against whom point. there is no evidence at all as the court has said, are languishing in court simply because they are accused and because they are arrested under UAPA, okay. under which these, uh, under which the judge is not allowed to look at these substantive right. facts. So the most of the cases in which you are seeing adverse judgments by the court, adverse remarks, those are in non-UAPA cases, okay. barring the one involving Natasha Narval, Asif Iqbal, Tanha and Devangana, where the court gave bail even in a UAPA case, setting right. a precedent. Right, so, so my point is that this is a shoddy and a not just shoddy. So these questions should be placed not just to the Delhi police, but to the Delhi police's boss. That is the Home okay. Minister Amit Shah. All right. It goes directly to him. And those questions, in fact, he should be in the okay. studio being asked these questions. All right. Okay. I'm going to come back to you. I want to cut across to Shankar Lal Gautam once again. Shankar Lal Gautam ji, you are saying that you have given your eyewitness account. You have given it back. You have said that you have a pistol that was running in the water. नहीं मैडम जो जो पिस्टल वाली जो बताई थी वो तो अगर वहाँ से तो फायरिंग हुई नहीं है फायरिंग तो दूसरी तरफ से हुई है उनके पास तो हथियार ही नहीं थे जो लड़के उनके पास तो हथियार ही नहीं थे तो आपने आपने जो पुलिस को बोला था कि वो तो होली वाली पुलिस को नहीं उन्होंने श्रीनिवासन जैन को � all right, Mr. Singh, I'm just going to come to you because I'll give you one. Okay, Mr. Singh. No, no, Mr. Singh, I'm coming. Mr. Singh, I'm just coming back to you. I want to cut across once again to Mr. Razad because Mr. Razad, look at what has just happened. And this is what we were talking about, the opaqueness of a riot. 
I'm uh, I'm glad that uh, these are the difficulties uh, in an investigation which come across. Let me also tell you that in the case of the riot which took place in the particular shop, and uh, that that the CCTV was disabled, therefore there were no forensic evidence backup. Uh, the other thing is, therefore, there were five witnesses which were taken, and out of these five witnesses, I mean, some of them, uh, um, you know, don't want to give the evidence or 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 they turn back, and this is a huge problem because there is no backup except right. perhaps a few minutes here and there, and that is why once again the point which I want to make is that the difficulty in these investigations is huge, and to put attribute a motive to the Delhi police would be wrong. There would be uh, some cases here and there. But to say in general that the menstrual has been wrong, that will be very unfair. Mr. Singh, I'm coming to you. I just want to bring in Abhishek Dutt. He hasn't had a word in. Abhishek Dutt, taking off from what Yashavardhan Azad says, it is difficult to actually investigate a riot. The Congress is not new to that. <laughs> so, you know, Preeti, one thing that is common in your debate today, it's very clear that Delhi police somewhere has gone wrong. And if you look at the observation of the Honorable Court, they've even sent that the I.O. is not even replying to the question. Okay, we're not getting you. We're going to, uh, you need to rectify your line, Mr. Dutt. Uh, R.P. Singh, you wanted to come in for a rebuttal. Go ahead, sir. No, very, very small. I'll appreciate the gentleman of the channel. Please ask him. Because words are being put in his mouth. And I'm being said, being said that he was showing sympathy. He's showing, he's showing footage, he's showing evidence, he's showing pictures. And, 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 and then, I don't know, none of you, I mean, we're not probing into, we are talking about quoting into who killed Ratanlal, who killed Ankit, there, who killed, who killed, who, who hit Am uh, Amit Sharma, Amit Kumar. I mean, he's lucky to be with us, I mean, within us. Otherwise, uh, the way he was there, I mean, godless. So, no one is talking about that. So, I don't think police need to investigate well. And otherwise, people like uh, uh, your uh, uh, the, what what the uh, Sahil Sain and uh, Omar Khalid and Farooq they'll get free. They'll, they'll be uh, they'll go scot free. But Mr. Singh, no Mr. Singh, Mr. Mr. Singh, the fact is, is Ratan Lal's life any more important than the other 54 officially who have died in the Delhi I'm, riots? I'm, I'm not. I'm saying all, all, all should be investigated. But I'm saying so. Because there are, there are video records, there are videos we said in, on your channel, crowd of 30,000 people charging to Rasala. There are videos on your channel which were shown. I would, if you want, I'll take them out and send it to you. So, uh, there are clear evidence. I don't know what has gone wrong, where has gone, what has, uh, where, where, what has gone wrong. So, let's try to find it out. And I'm lucky to Delhi police should pull up their socks and do the proper job. We can't, we can't allow this to happen. This system can't allow this to happen. We can't allow Amar Khalid and, and, and Tyrell Sands and Farooq to let me let free. But Mr. Singh, that's for the court to decide if Umar Khalid is guilty. He's charged under UAPA. His bail application is still going on in a sessions court. We, it's going to resume on Monday. That's for the courts to decide. If the charge sheet is fabricated, it's fabricated. If there is truth in it, he will be charged. But why are we presuming him guilty? And why are we presuming him guilty before before it's charged? No, no, I'm saying, no, no, the charge sheet has been filed, so I'm hopeful that the police would have done a good job on it, and, 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 and I mean, they would have done the proper job on it. They would have done, for, they would have taken proper, proper evidence on all these three people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, doing my judgment whether they're guilty or not. But yes, if they have filed a charge sheet, they should pursue that properly. And then there is still time. Sir, it's, Filing a charge sheet is okay, but to prove it in a court of law and why the charge sheet and what it stands on is a different game. But no. that's for the courts to decide on who's guilty, who's not. I want to bring in Abhishek Dutt. We have him again. Abhishek Dutt, to make political statements right now might be different, but the Congress is attuned to the fact on investigation of a riot is not easy. Sometimes, like Mr. Azad says, things do go wrong. But, uh, you, you know, I was completing my previous, uh, the previous time also. One observation is very clear that police is under strong pressure. When the police is not replying to the queries made by the learned PP inside the court, and it is very specifically mentioned in the orders that the IO has been is, is been under the supervision of ACP and DCP who are officers of very high rank, but still the IO is not able to reply properly to the queries. That means there is some pressure. See, Delhi police have had very high standards in the past. Why is it happening that every time their charge sheet are being put in the court, 
the judges are showing their discontent. That means there is some pressure behind the cops because of which they are not able to express the facts properly. And even when the riots happened, it was first an intelligence failure. And even after the riots, we all went very clearly in the media and said all the evidences should be captured, whether they are CCTV cameras, whether they are videographs, whether they are phone calls. Because see, it's very simple. CDR cannot be received after one year. There's a line of one year. Once you don't tap the calls for one year, then you can't re retrieve the data. So that means all the data is lost today. So why was this lackness shown during the investigation? If all the facts were cleared, all the mm -hmm. calls would have been recorded. Today, police would have been in a stronger position. And there are so many innocent people, irrespective of the religion, who are in the jail today. Why are they there inside? And every time they're going for bail, they are being granted bail and the police failure has been exposed. Who is responsible for this? The Delhi police comes under the Home Ministry and the Home Ministry has to come forward and answer. Mr. Azad, can the Delhi police, because keep hiding behind the fact that it's extremely difficult because once the riot recedes, it's very difficult to actually figure out who started what, who killed whom. Can they actually hide behind this fig leaf because they seem to have made basic mistakes? No, they can't. Uh, I agree with you on that point. But uh, let me tell you, uh, regarding the forensics and the tech gizmos which had to be deployed, you know, these are very basic things and which is, which is known to every investigator in the Delhi police you know, using a dump data or, you know, the WhatsApp or the CDRs or, or the drone technology or the CCTVs, etc., etc. These have been used. But sometimes, as you said, good is not good enough. Number two is that to say all the time that it is under pressure, that also I don't agree. Therefore, Delhi police will have to fairly and squarely take the blame for the certain portion of the investigations in which these basic mistakes have been point, uh, uh, pointed out. But on the whole, I would say that out of the 175 FIRs which have been lodged, there are many other cases which still have to be screened. Exactly. And right. in that perhaps. All right, and that's Pardon? the question I want to bring up. Kavita Krishnan, you've been wanting to come in. The fact is there are 735 mm -hmm. FIRs. Shall we get stuck to the five which got bailed today or the three on whose the case was discharged yesterday? See, Preeti, I just want to uh, quickly get back. Uh, I will come to uh, your answer as well. I just want to quickly get back to some of the points being made by Mr. Azad and others, that this is a difficulty regarding gizmos and uh, forensics and, you know, uh, technical things. Uh, let me tell you that an IO, the investigating officer, is a very important, I'm sure Mr. Azad will agree, that an investigating officer is a very uh, is a serious, a senior, uh, an important person in an investigation. So what the latest Delhi High Court uh, observations say is that the silence and delay on part of the IO is not only fatal to the case of the investigative agency, but it also gives the impression that he has been planted or introduced to solve the case in hand. So the use of the word planted by a court, by a judge, is not a light one. This is not me, a political person, saying the police has planted something. When a court says it at this stage, that does not just mean that the police is not able to investigate, has not been able to find evidence. It means that the, the court is accusing the police of having tried falsely to frame somebody by planting evidence. The use of the word planted means that. So this is a very serious allegation in the Delhi High Court and its boss, Mr. Amit Shah, are under a really a very direct kind of allegation over here. The other point I want to make is, as you said, that only five cases. My point is, look at the people who are in jail, whom the uh, Delhi High Court has mentioned today. You see, one and a half years in jail. I mean, if you're you're going on filing supplementary charge sheets, it's not one charge sheet. They have already filed charge sheet in Umar's case, but they are filing supplementary charge sheets in order to buy time. And that is what they, that is the strategy which the Delhi High Court has called out today, saying in order to keep people okay. in jail, you're going on manufacturing supplementary charge sheets, and you can't keep doing that. So give them bail, let them be out on bail and you do your investigation. Take 10 years if you want, but do not, okay. uh, uh, you know, do not uh, waste the court's time and uh, the, uh, do not put people in jail who may be innocent. Okay. That is what the Delhi High Court has I, 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 I identified today and has indicated in the Asif Iqbal Tanha uh, Natasha Narbal case as well. Very strongly saying that these are uh, creating threats okay. to democracy. So it is not just, it, they are saying India's democracy is in danger because okay. of the behavior of the Delhi police. All right, Mitch, I want to you know, go back to R.P. Singh. R.P. Singh, one thing you've admitted, sir, and you admitted it well, where you said that there's been failure investigation, you admit that the Delhi police got onto the wrong foot. Then shouldn't action be taken against the highest officers? But what's seemingly happening is contrary to that, sir, because the Delhi police has constantly been lauded, you know, 
for doing an exceptional job during the Delhi riots? Okay, see, uh, there are two parts. One is the restriction part, and the way that the, the way the police got in, uh, uh, involved in uh, got the riots, the stalled the riots. There are two different parts. So the way they tackled the riots, uh, the way things were much more, much more worse. That's one part. But as far as investigation goes, I agree. I mean, what Harshvardhan ji was saying, this over five cases out of seven fifty, there are still seven forty five or seven forty still left affair which has still left. And we don't know what is the status of that and how things will come up on those cases. So let's wait for those also to happen. But I'm with you on this. That yes, this investigation they are part of something and they need to pull up the socks and they they need to uh, ensure they, that all those who are involved, who all those who are guilty or charged with it, they are proven they are, they are proven guilty also in the court. Yashavardhan Azad, and you know, I'm going to go to our guest. So, does that really mean that the victims of the Delhi riots, which is the worst that Delhi has seen since independence, right after what we had seen, uh, you know, the Sikh riots uh, in the 80s, can we now say that they're never going to get justice? It's not going to happen. Can, can, no, can I Preeti, uh, I'll I come back to you, Mr. Singh. Yes, Mr. Azad, go ahead. Despite the accusations made against the Delhi police and slandering them on the basis of a few evidence here and there. I think definitely the right victims will get justice. And at least uh, in 90% of the cases, uh, the investigations, as they will pan out, they will certainly get the accused to the book. I'm really shocked how you can make sweeping allegations against your own institutions, against the police, that they are planting evidence. I don't know. I haven't seen the high court order. But to say that they are planting evidence in supplementary charge sheets, uh, which was said just now, I think that's a very, very unfair and uncalled remark against the Delhi police. All right, Mr. Singh, you wanted to come in. Go ahead, sir, quickly. Very, very. I mean, I'm pretty, I'll appreciate in your, in your debate and in future debates also. Don't put six riots as a riot. I mean, it was, it was a massacre. It was not a riot. Riot is between two communities, between two, two sects. That, that was just one sided. Uh, Congress versus sex. All right, okay. Well, you know, again, a lot of people would say the same thing with the Delhi riots as well. But having used said the that, word planted, Preeti. That has to be clarified here that it's not the words of us. We are not raising any allegation against an institution. Okay. Delhi High Court's word is planted. Let's remember okay. that. What okay. does Mr. Mr. Azad have to say? Is he saying it to the judge? Okay, Mr. Azad, she was quoting. Okay, okay. Mr. Mr. Azad, she was quoting. She was quoting the observation by the court. I'm qu quoting the Delhi High Court, which said planted. Thought, okay, Mr. Azad thought, wants to come in. Go ahead, Mr. Azad, answer. Yes, I thought that the supplementary charges which are being filed after planting evidence was a remark made by you. I withdraw my remark. If no, you have not it is the Delhi High Court. So, madam, High madam, court. he's withdrawn his remark. He's been, he's been, yeah. He, 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 okay. All right, R.P. Singh, you wanted to quickly come in. Go ahead, sir. Yes, yes, no, come in. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm saying if the, the market said that it has been planted, it, I mean, judicially also has to look into the matter. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, Harshwadhan ji has adored it, but I'm saying it. And uh, under the threat of uh, being held under contempt, I mean, very serious uh, charge being put under the... Uh, on the Sir, report. don't make these and statements on my show. We'll all be going to the court together. So, like, like, like don't, don't do it here. <laughs> Sir, please, I, I, would, I would highly urge you. To stay clear of contempt, at least on the show. I, I'm going to close the debate. I, I'm sorry, Abhishek, I know I, you wanted to come in. But, uh, you know, that's all the time that we have for right now. We're going to go into a quick break. So, there are 735 charge sheets that have been planted. There have been many supplement charge sheets as well. Till now, at least the language of multiple courts, it's not one viewers. Multiple courts over five months seems to suggest that the Delhi police was shoddy in its investigation. We're going to keep a keen eye on the other cases as and when they come up.